right, welcome back. Tom and Man, it's Uncensored just after 9 o'clock, about 20 minutes just after 9 o'clock here on the Suck It Up Radio Network, SuckItUpUSA.com. Love talking about that fight game, man. I love it. I love, And I really do believe, you know, that if we if we all live like the fighters do, when they put it all on themselves, all on their show, I, I think it's a, you do it fair and honestly. It's the best way to live. And, um, and I, I applaud them. You know, it's funny. We all admire people that do that because it takes a lot of balls to, to go fight and to get punched in the face and, 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 and then, you know, be good at it and chase that dream. I mean, it takes a lot of cojones to do that. So I uh, I got mad respect for those guys, no doubt about it. And I do think we can take a little bit out of their book, pages out of their book into our lives. Hey, if you want to see something new that I did, uh, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash suck it up network. My dose of motivation, uh, my latest one is my six keys to happiness and success. Go check it out right there. Or you can see it on the website by uh, after we're done live here. You can see it on the uh, the Ustream channel um, and uh, right there on the on the front page of the website. This website. Speak. We're live right now on Ustream. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Hello, Ustream. Roger Good Tillis, morning. viewmysport.com. What's happening, my friend? All kinds of stuff. I having know it time. is. I'm having a good time. 4.30, wake-up call for <laughs> Roger Tillis, man. What the heck? <laughs> hey, it takes it – take, I, I, you know, they talk about cramming more time into the day. Yeah. You wish you had that more time. I create it. Get up at 4.30, start rocking, get on yeah. the computer. You know, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You should switch headsets with them, Nate, because so, that one's a little bit tricky. Get them that one and – and we'll be good to go, no doubt about that. Thank you, Natronic. Appreciate it. There you go, Rog. Try it now. How's that? Look there. at that. Oh, that's yeah, huge. Yeah. That's that huge. even sounds good to me. Well, you got to get after it. <coughs> saying. Hey, how about this little news and notes? Uh, as the uh, Miami Dolphins were leaving uh, Dallas early Thursday morning, um, that the team backed into another play on plane on the runway. Oh, nice! How about that? Nice. Jeez, I don't know if I'd want to be on uh, on that one. <laughs> on that's that not flight. the best hit they have to, this week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Do they get to call no substitution kidding. in that case? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. In a, a backup. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like when you get your blood taken and then the first doc screws it up and they're like, give me your other arm. You're like, you're not getting my other arm. Give me somebody else. Get out of here. You've already poked the crap out of me for hours. Leave me alone. I'm going deep into the bench. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, Roger here, viewmysport.com, built it from scratch with a vision. He and I have been talking. We would hook up at a Christmas party every year. That's it seemed for the first three years or four years, that's where I'd I'd see it. I'd be like, Hey, how's it going? How's the thing? And man, you've really grown it into a really nice deal and, and for all Thanks. you people out there, it's listen, I, I was fortunate in high school, Roger, because my, my, my football coaches sent out three hundred letters on my behalf. That's amazing. To colleges. Amazing. Who does that? Not many. Not many. Nope. But they did that. And I tell you what, um, not every coaches, you know, or programs will do that for you. Slide in viewmysport.com because you basically do that for athletes, all genders, all uh, both genders, all sports. Doesn't right. matter the sport. You get your page. You can put your accolades. You can put your grades. You can put videos, highlights, Everything. and it's absolutely free, yeah. which is fantastic, yeah. Roger. You bet. You fantastic bet. stuff. Did I get it all? Yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah. and, and of course, that you know what we're real excited about. You know, you know, this year we launched the View Recruit smartphone app, the recruiting app. Yeah. And um, you know, in our research, we found. I mean, nobody in the recruiting industry is tapping into that smartphone technology yet. Yeah. You know, they've got some information and little news blurbs and things like that. But, as, but yeah, but as far as an actual tool that helps not just the athlete but the college coaches. So we've taken all the web services from viewmysport.com and driven it into the View Recruit app. <coughs> Everything you do on this app is now on the website and vice versa. Okay. So you can, uh, you know, for the college coaches, they can recruit on the fly. Literally, they can be traveling to an area, pull up on their iPad or on their iPhone and find out, you know, what other athletes are in that area that they may want to take a look at. They can look at their profile, save them, organize them. For the athlete, you know, it's the same thing that we offer on the website. They can connect with these coaches, only we've automated it a little bit more where they can just point, click, and, and wow. their profiles in front of these coaches. So can the athlete 
find out who's looking at his profile? Yes. Wow. Uh, we, we, we actually take it to the to the next level on that because views. You know, you always hear, well, how many people are looking at my profile? Yeah. Right. How many views am I getting? Well, come on, views don't mean crap. They right. really don't. Great for the ego. You know, yeah. it's great to tell your friends. It's great to put on Facebook. What we do is we allow the college coaches when they view these profiles, if they are truly interested, they can click on. Uh, there's a little area for them to click on, and it saves that profile into that coach's own little electric file on the ah, app and on okay. the website. Okay. It fires off a notice on the iDevice ah. or the iPad and an email directly to the athlete, giving them all the coach's right. information. Yeah. So literally seconds from the time that that coach sees your profile, you can be on the phone or, or communicating right. via email. Right. It's and so, so here's another thing, you know, for you parents and the athletes out there, you uh, you know you got coaches looking at you, right, because you've already gotten the notifications. Sure. Friday night, you, you have a one, you know, you, a great game whatever, or a game, whatever. Here's my stats from last night, okay. coach. Hey, I got a little video that we just uploaded from that. Check out this catch I made, you know, in the corner. You know, right? Sure. I mean, sure. and that's just constant, constant yeah. interaction. And the coaches that's don't have fantastic. to go back and search again. They've already saved that profile. They just go in and click the link, open the profile. There it is, and they see it's all real time updates. Right. So you know, uh, you know, mom can even take a little video off of her eye device and put it right into the profile. How cool! I is mean, that? it's it's all real time. You know, so. right, and I tell you, man, I I I in in. I don't hear it as much. They must be going to your website and, and the and the app because I always, how do I get my kid more exposure? How do I get my kid more exposure? How can I get my child, you know, at least to get a look, you know? And now, sure. granted, look, you're not all going Division One, but that's who cares? You know what? You can get scholarships. You can get a free education. You can play great collegiate ath athletics. And I'm talking girls in golf. I'm talking soccer. I'm talking wrestling. I'm Rowing. Talking anything. <laughs> yeah, anything. Yeah. And that's what that's what makes it great. No doubt yeah. about that. Uh, locally, the talent is unbelievable. Right? I, I tell you, I, I've seen in the last year. You know, it seems like we were were uh, you know calming down a little bit. Yeah. You know, the the post Tebow era, and you know there'd be a guy here, a guy there, and yeah, they'd get a you know a, a low key school. Yep. Um, I tell you what, the next uh, year or two. And maybe longer, we're, we're going to see Jacksonville especially being a hotbed. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, I brought a, a list. I was looking over. The, that's another great thing about the website. It's a great research tool. Nice. <laughs> but I was looking over, and, you know, I, I get invited to go to these combines uh, as far as football goes. And we've been fortunate to have quite a few locally and, and like out in Julianton Creek and those areas. But, you know, we've got some kids for the uh, 2013 and, and 2014 that are starting to pop up. Of course, 2013, the most notable, just recently signed with Alabama, Demarcus Walker yes. out of Sandwood. Yeah. Out. And, and I saw him. I mean, he, he's a man child. He's yeah. a beast. Yeah. And, and, you know, so we've got a lot of those types of guys. A yeah. uh, kid out of Oakleaf. Uh, started as a freshman when they first had their uh, their ball club start. Right. Um, Justin Todd, he's a linebacker, 6'1", 208 right now, and he's already getting a lot of uh, – and, and this is – we're talking about D1-type material. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Eric Bach, a uh, linebacker yeah. out of Nice. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of quarterbacks, uh, Nick Dutch out of, uh, you know, Christchurch Academy. I mean, the list goes on and on. You yeah. go and, – and these aren't just kids that will play collegiate football. These – a lot of these kids are – D1 material, right? And uh, we're real fortunate to have them on the website and be able to, you know, be part of their recruiting process and help them out. And, yeah. You know, but it's great. Jacksonville's going to be really, really hot yeah. the next couple. What of did years. I see? There was already 40 commits to 1A. It's crazy. It is. It is crazy. I mean, have you seen the running back out of Yuli? He's like six three, like two forty. You know, I heard about that kid in. Uh, I don't think he's picked a college yet. No, no. I, I was looking at some video and. and uh, Jesus, I mean, the, the guy's just, uh, he, he's a thoroughbred, yeah. you know? When you're that big and fast, you should be running for a touch on every single time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Dane from Wisconsin. That, that, that's the guy that pops into my head, you know, or, or the oh, Earl, Rod Dane. Yeah, Earl, the Earl Campbell, Campbell yeah, type, yeah, you know, yeah. you just, you know, locomotive. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you know, and it's funny, you say Yuli, it, it is, you know, we consider all these sub areas, you know, like part of Jackson, but yeah. Yuli and, and, you know, Baker County, and you get out to Clay County, Clay County. County, you know, the, the, there's everybody is really starting yeah. jack up the talent, and it's yeah. really exciting. It is exciting. Yeah. I tell you what, uh, also, um, you know, the the feeder system with the Pop Warner, and they're really they're starting early, and they just feed them right into the schools, and that's a great yeah. thing. That's yeah. a great thing. Also, with View My Sport, you'd be a freshman.
right? Oh, sure. You'd be in eighth grade? Well, yeah, we take uh, – well, I mean, we you I mean, don't want to make a profile for anybody. Yeah. But if as far as starting, you know, I, I say middle school. Middle okay. school because – and that's where some of our kids today yep. are still communicating with um, the coaches that they met. Uh, back, you know, when they were in middle school. Now people say, well, yeah, but they can't recruit. They can't recruit, you know, uh, you know, the middle school kids. Yeah. And, and so what they're doing is the kids make their profile. They go and send it out to some of these coaches. The coaches put them on a mailing list for camps, media guides. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they get all this stuff yeah. because hey, the coaches aren't done. They figured let's, you know, get a hook in the kid, get them excited. Right. Let's talk to them a little bit, you know, and say, hey, little Joe, you know, keep up the good work and keep yeah. those grades up and, you know, yeah. don't do drugs. You know? Yeah, right. And so, the, so you have a lot of this kind of stuff it's great for the kids because it excites them it gets them going but man once they uh, get out of middle school and then they're freshmen yeah. you know again officially they aren't being recruited all right you know you know wink wink yeah but they damn sure are hey, being listen recruited. there are you go up north man bas- there's kids in eighth grade basketball getting looked at by yeah. major d1 yeah. schools well the co- and what about the commitments you know the yeah. kids in seventh grade and he's committing to a all right uh, you know i mean will that really come to fruition We'll wait and see. Do you like early signing for kids? And, and and here, let me let me put this: that you actually sign the deal. I, the verbal does. You know, it's great to say, "Hey, I'm going here," but we all know that can change. It can yeah. change in an instant. Yeah. It's like a handshake but, contract, right? You know, and listen, I I um I know this when I um. Uh, when I was being recruited, it was mostly Big Ten, but not Michigan or Iowa. They were the big ones. Everybody else but them. Illinois, to a certain degree, the rest would, would have all, all offered me a scholarship. Sure. Okay? Uh, Duke a little bit. I couldn't get in. And then Boston College and whatnot, right? I know this. When I committed to Boston College verbally in December uh, of 1987, okay, the phone wouldn't stop ringing. What do you mean? To, what do you come in? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I, I said, well, where you been? Yeah. Where you been? They offered me right on the spot. Well, we, you're, you're still one of our guys. Well, yeah, but you, you didn't offer me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So sure. I know what happens when you do commit. Then I was, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's, they're looking at who? Who is that kid? Let's yeah. find out who he is. Maybe yeah. he wants to do a visit to our school, and then we can get sure. him that way. Right? Well, it, it's almost like recruiting through somebody else's program. You know, yeah. they, they may have not, like you said, you know, they may have not heard about you until all of a sudden you come up on their list. And believe me, these schools are taking a look at everybody else's list. So I mean, it's, it, it, it's it, a copycat. It is, oh, yeah, the espionage is going on and whatnot. I'll be honest with you, the early signings, you know, I'm kind of, it's kind of like high school football on ESPN. You know, I'm a little torn both ways. I understand the positive. Kids get exposure. It's fun, you know, but all of a sudden you start getting, you know, the the darker side of of recruiting and uh, big time collegiate sports kind of clouding that raw high school, you know, zeal, you know, the play because we like it because it's fun. And, and, you know, they're starting to make it more of a business. Business. And and I kind of you know I, I'd like to see it remain uh, a little more sophomoric, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so and, and and these early signings, okay. If a college wants to put their paper down and say, okay, you know, we're going to sign this uh, quarterback. Yeah, he's only in eighth grade, and but we're going to sign him. We feel you know if they want to risk that and, and secure it. Now the kid might say, you know, playing for your college has been a dream line. You know, that's yeah. what I want to do. As long as the parents are involved. But again, the dark side or the flip side to that is going to be kid in eighth grade, all of a sudden, he may not even want to play football. Right. He's, he's into right. trucks and girls in his right. junior year, right. and he right. wants to quit. And all right. of a sudden, he's stuck. I mean, you know, the, these kids, I mean, that's a lot of pressure. And, of course, yeah. the parents who are probably living vicariously through that no kid, you, you know, there's a lot of that. Which brings me to my next point, which I've, I've told you this before last time you're on. I love about you, my sport. This, this weeds out the pretenders. You know those parents. Hey, my kid's doing this. Okay, okay. You know you may be doing that. Well, let's let's get him his own profile sure. for my sport, and let's see what kind of player. You know that. You know, and parents. Look, we all want the best for our kids, but you got to be realistic yeah. with them. You know, my father didn't say you're going pro. My father didn't even say you're going to college. He said, you know what? I think you've got some talent, but you're gonna have to work your butt off to get there. Sure. And he sure. always kept me humble. Yeah. You know, I'll never forget the local paper. My senior year called me one morning. I picked up the phone, and he heard me interviewing, and he came <laughs> down the stairs. He's like, "Hang up that phone. This nice. ain't just about you. It's about your team." And I was just finishing up anyway. I said, "All team," because I knew. I already knew. 
Yeah. I wasn't gonna. Pay. My dad would kick my ass if I went in the <laughs> local paper like, "Yeah, it's all me," you know, blah blah blah. No, I de- I deflected everything to the team, and he even said to me, "He's like, you know what? That's being a leader. That's a good job. You did a good job." But Excellent. you know, it was it was always keeping it humble. And parents today, man, for whatever reason, whether it's everyone gets a freaking trophy here or whatnot, but this will weed it out. This will really give you an honest and fair assessment of where your young athlete is, regardless of gender and regardless of sport. Yeah, you, I love you, that part yeah, about it. Yeah, and you hit the nail right on the head. And you know, it's it, it, we don't want to dissuade anybody. No, from not what at all. Was. No. I mean, and that's what somebody was like. Well, gosh, aren't you aren't you concerned that you know by it being sort of a do it yourself type setup, you're going to dilute the uh, you know the talent pool? You know, and I said, no, gosh, oh, no. we no. could have eight billion average athletes on there. The thing is, our search engine for the college coaches, yeah. they go in and they put in their criteria. We weed through all the, uh-huh. the pretenders or the right. kids that just want to look That's like they true. have a, you know, a, their, their own website or whatever. Uh-huh. You know, it's, it's so, so, you know, it's for the, the guys that are having fun. It's, and I say guys, the, you know, guys and girls having yep. fun, but it's also for the serious. Yeah. And it works. We, we've now been around long enough where we've got example after example yep. after example where, I mean, it's almost a hundred percent success rate right. for the kids that use the site and use it the way That's we correct. tell them to as far as getting that exposure. Not getting uh, no, the, the, the not guaranteeing anything. We're, yeah, we're, no. we're not like some of those other uh, unmenschable companies out there that right. are going to make you think that, you know, yeah. come with us and you're going to get that scholarship. No, right. it's still like you said. It is hard work. You have to work your ass off to the day you put your signature on that and letter of intent. Because, That's just the beginning. Yeah, well, because yeah. these, co- these, these uh, colleges that are out there um, – you know, and, and yes, you can commit. They can commit to you and all, but they can also keep you on the hook so you don't go elsewhere. And then right. at the last minute, ah, uh, something happened. We don't have the spot, and here it is on the nth hour, and you've got nothing. Right. So, yeah. so you better be busting your ass and making sure that you have got a lot of you know Plan B, C, D, E, F all the way down to make sure that you've got somewhere to turn to yeah. if things don't work out in the end. Right. You know. And, and, and that's what we're there for. Hey, uh, I don't know if you saw this uh, great running back out of Notre Dame. Now their their analyst, Alan Pinkett, said Notre Dame needs a few criminals on the team. <laughs> Are criminals allowed to post on the profile, Roger? Yeah, <laughs> well, let's let's say this. You know, we we don't discriminate, but right, you know, right, we, right, we right. you know, we're, we're all. About and by the way, he didn't he didn't mean like you know grand theft auto or you know rape or murder. Yeah. Getting in a fight, you know, getting written up for being tr- intoxicated. That was kind of criminal. I, t- I yeah. don't know if we'll ever keep that <laughs> element out. We do, we do push the, uh, you know, we're not just about the recruiting aspects. You yeah. know, we're about the academics. We're, yeah. uh, just this morning, we uh, posted the um, NAIA, um, the you know, small yeah. college NCA. We posted yeah. their. Uh, uh, Ch- uh, what is it, the, the champion of uh, character mm-hmm. program that they're all about. And we posted the checklist, and, uh, and I told them, I said, listen, don't wait till you're there to use this. Now, as a high school student athlete, it's the time to go buy these things. If you do that, you can't lose. Yeah, so. no, right, exactly <laughs> right, exactly right. Roger Tillis here, ViewMySport.com. You mentioned uh, Tim Tebow. Woody Johnson, the owner of the Jets, uh, about two months ago, maybe a month ago, said, I didn't realize the mag of Tim Tebow, and uh, yesterday he came out and said, you can never get enough of Tim Tebow. (laughs) By the way, Times Union, I don't care that he was named number two quarterback up in New York, okay? The local paper, it's a headline on their freaking website. I don't care that he's number two. What, what is that? What do you, what do you, he didn't get cut. You know he's not going to get cut. What, that's a headline? Hey, look at Tim. He's number two. <laughs> Great. He'll have a press conference for it. You can go check him out. Uh, I can guarantee they'll have a press conference. I'll tell you what, Dirty Sanchez, you better, you know what, you better win. You better win. I mean, you can say what you want about Tebow, uh, but his fan base will get vocal even in New York. They'll be screaming for him. Uh, if Dirty Sanchez don't get it done, he better get a touchdown first. Before, yeah, I, know. I mean, you know, maybe he needs to start did small. Did you see his interview? Did you see that Sanchez's I did. interview? I didn't. Pompous. Little smug. It do not. What if he. Yeah, okay, he met the two AFC Championship games to play well, but come on, Mark. You haven't shown anything where you're the man. Right. And he got on that freak. Michelle Tafoy is like, are you concerned about. You know, not scoring a touch. Well, you know, we'll be fine. You know, we're saving uh, it for the regular so season. Yeah, yeah. And then she said something about the 
the final preseason game, and he, he mentioned the backers. He's like, well, fire them up, get them ready. I'm just real smug. I wanted to reach through the freaking screen and slap them. <laughs> they knock the smugness. I mean, until you do something. You know what? You know, take a page out of the guy across the river, Eli. He yeah. don't say anything. You know what he does? He comes and wins. He comes and plays. He comes and wins. You need to shut your mouth and humble pie, Mark Sanchez. Sure. sure. The dirty Sanchez. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see about the Jets. Jags are your team. Who's number two in your book? Who do you? Who else do you like in the NFL? Uh, well, I, I, I tell you, I grew up as a Miami Dolphins you fan. Did. Okay. You know, when, I mean, uh, way back when, aging tough myself. To be a fan of theirs. Uh, but uh, you know, a little excitement, a little excitement. Tannehill. You know, Tannehill. I, 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 okay. You know, I mean, where's the excitement coming from? Philbin, the new coach. <laughs> Ocho Cinco being cut. Oh, that was pretty oh, exciting. Yeah, you know, I tell you, we we saw him and we were excited. And we thought, okay, it's going to be the resurrection. And he was snatching balls left and right. But then he'd get in those games, and you know. And all of a sudden, you could see, yeah, he, he he's down a step. Yeah. And of course, then you know, little stupid things uh, got rid of him. Uh, but I, I tell you, I like I like the uh, I like this new coach. Yeah, I like too. the way he runs things. Yeah. Um, you know, he's not an ass about you know his discipline. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, you know what, you know what it is, Raj, and we we see it in the state of Florida. Malarkey, Greg Schiano in Tampa, Joe Philbin at Miami. The old school is coming back. Yep. And it might not be the dictator old school, but the old school principles are coming back, and they should. Sure. Forget about players, coach. It's kind of like a parent. We'll be friends later. I mean, parent first. Especially when you're young. Sure. I love you to death. And yes, we're going to we're gonna grow a relationship to, I hope, where we are best of friends when you're an adult. But I'm your parent first. I want my coach to be my coach first and my se- my friend second. That's and right. I think that's coming back. And that's I love right. it. I sure. love it. Well, you saw it if you watched the Hard Knocks program with the Dolphins. Who steps up? You know, veteran uh, Reggie Bush steps up and goes to the coach. Coach, you know, we want to have a, a player group so that way – we're being proactive. We're cutting a lot of crap like what happened with uh, Chad Ochocinco. You know, we're cutting that stuff out before it can happen. And not, you know, as for the players' rights. It was for the team. Yeah. And you don't see that. And, and to have a veteran who, who's kind of come through, you know, the, the, the gimme era, to for those guys to mesh and stand up and say, this is what we want to do because it is about the team, yeah. that's what I like. That's the way you're a role model for the kids that are coming up out of high school and college saying, hey, you know, all this other, you know, the TOs and all these crazy guys out there, you know, that doesn't work. It might be funny, but it damn sure doesn't work for the the championship teams. Yeah, and, and, you, and you gave a perfect example. Yeah, Eli Manning. Yeah, man, I mean, we're you know silent but deadly. Yeah, exactly. you know, the, the whole damn giant <laughs> team. You He's know, the silent assassin. Yeah. yeah, they're not. They're not. They they. And you know, if you think about the past year, they let the Jets talk, but they know they hold the hardware. Sure. Well, look so at the coach. Talk, don't mean nothing. Yeah, look at the coach. Who's know. the coach? Yeah, you know. So. I am a fan of Rex Ryan, but I'm not that he talks so much. I just don't. Unless you're doing it. Unless you're doing it. You, you know, you if you back up your talk, I don't have a problem. But if you're yapping and you ain't following through with it, then yeah. you need to be quiet. Yeah. You need to tell your team to be quiet. Make it business. You know, I, I always love to say, we haven't done shit yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep it in perspective. Sure. Just keep it in perspective. You know, and, and I'm not going to rip it too hard because obviously in the environment that the kickoff luncheon was yesterday, but Brian Saxton used a play on words. They had fog and, you know, with the players coming on. He's like, I can't see you all. It's fog out there, but make no mistake. There's no fog in the air with where this team's going. I thought, all right, you got to play it up. Yeah, you know, come on, Brian. Let's, you know, keep it in perspective, man. All sure. right. Uh, a playoff team just worked you. The yeah. Ravens. Your ones got worked by their ones. Okay, it's I'm keeping it in perspective. It doesn't mean the Jags aren't going to the playoffs. Sure. Because we got four months to figure that out or three months to figure that out. Um, but to sit here and say, yeah, we know where they're going. Where are they going? We, we don't know yet. Yeah. We hope they're going. Sure. Minnesota's going to tell – listen, Minnesota's going to – nobody's counting on them to do anything. They're, they'll, that'll be a great opponent to start off up sure. there in Minnesota. Yeah. Those fans are Minnesota. See, I talk like <laughs> them when I'm talking about they, uh, But they're rabid. They're rabid, man. And they're, uh, they got a good team. And if AP's going to play and Ponder's taking that next step, they haven't shown that yet. 
But that's no, you know, you, yeah. know, you know what, Eugene Monroe, you got Jared Allen across from you all game long. Yeah. You know, you got Kevin Williams on the inside. Evan Britton, you say you're going to be the nastiest O-line. I love it. I think you can be too. But, man, you got Kevin Williams right in front of you. Yeah. He's no joke. That'll be He's a good no test. Ball. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. It'll be good. But keeping it in perspective. And uh, i tell you what, man, I'm excited about this team in Jacksonville. Final preseason game tonight. Down at the stadium, I said it earlier, Raj, you know, um, I was one of the bubble players, no doubt. I mean, I was on that freaking bubble, and it's a scary place to be. Sure. It's an uh, uh, uncertain place to be. You don't know. Where do I stand? Where do I stand? You know, you don't know until cut day. And, and I tell you what, man, tonight's, uh, although not important in the whole scheme of the team per se, very important for guys that are trying to make the team. Sure. And I got a lot of respect for those guys, and I pull for all of them. Now, not all of them are going to make it. They got to make 22 cuts by Friday at four, I think, or midnight. Man, that's 22. A lot. That's a lot. That's tough. Yeah. You know, and you got, you know, you got guys here. You're like, man, where am I going to put this guy? I like him? I like him. Can we hide him? You know, can we put him on IR? Can we put him on the pup? Can we put him on, you know, practice squad or whatever? Can we do so nobody can come in and, and catch him? You know, you look last night. Uh, and Jeff Demps, bless you, um, bless you, uh, Jeff Demps, right, got hurt a little bit, showed some stuff, Pats are going to protect him, Sure, they like him, I would too with that kind of speed, and you know what, he humps it up in there too, so uh, it could be a great return guy for you up in New England, Sure, but uh, you know, he's a guy that, you know, probably on the bubble coming in, and, uh, and, and he had to show something last night, which he did. Which he did, so good for him, the former Gator and former Olympian, yeah. trying to make it. I always liked the way he ran in between the tackles, Depp. Sure. I don't think he was, you know, Rainey to me, like everyone made a big deal about Rainey's touchdown against the Steelers. Let me touch him. Yeah. He's got to do that because he's fast. Sure. Speed will speed burn through those. But let's see him go up and then out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I loved hearing back uh, when Willie Parker was the tailback with, uh, with Jerome Bettis. And Bettis told him, Willie, quit going outside first. Go up and then out, and then they'll never catch you. Because if you can get through that first line sure. vertically, then you break it outside, and then that's where you kick in that speed and, and let's go. And that's way more dangerous. Not look, especially at that level, as you know, you're not going to beat many guys to the sideline. Right, not the speed. Even a guy like me, I could get to the sideline against pretty much any back. Now, if he got around because we got walled off, I wasn't going to catch him from behind, but I could meet him at the end of the line of scrimmage without a doubt because that's more quicks than actual flat-out speed. Sure. Now, he gets up, he gets by, now he puts on the jet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I ain't keeping sure. up. My days well, tell me to trip and fall down, so I didn't look so <laughs> slow. Well, that's what made Emmett Smith and Barry Sanders and those guys. Yeah. You know, they break into that little gap, and then and then they showed what they had. You know, the moves and then the speed. And you're right. Yeah. I mean, I was, and you know, what do they say? The shortest way, you know, between A and B, straight line. Straight line. Get yeah. in there and then do your business. Yeah, but yeah, absolutely. you're you're right. I mean, when you've got linebackers, you know, with the speed they have, you know, you rarely see unless you just happen to get a nice block or yeah. you know something which you know you don't see that kind of blocking. Yeah, right. You know, no, just too much speed. Right. Way too much speed. Right. Well, Raj, it's been fun. Um, I know we're going to talk some business off the air. You bet. Uh, I love what you're doing, man. I love it. And Thank you're, you. you know what? You're uh, entrepreneurs like you is what makes our country great. Because you took this from scratch and you built it and worked and worked and worked and it's growing like crazy and you've you continue to grow. And to me, that's the American spirit. And not Thanks. to get political. But when I hear my president say, you didn't get there by yourself, that drives me absolutely, yeah, double chucks. How can you say that, right? Yeah. But we really, Mr. President, talk to Roger Tillis and find out how much the government helped him get to where he's at right now and to where he's going. How much? That's right. Right? That's right. You That's bet. what yeah. I don't agree with. Yeah. Look, Took a little offense to that comment. I want to help bet. as many people as possible. I think we should have programs for our country to help people. But to have it as a program, I'll use a great example, Sulzbacher Center, the homeless shelter downtown. That's a program. You have to get a job. You have to go to work. You have to behave. And in three or four months, you have to find an apartment. They're going to help you do all of that. They even pack a bag of lunch for those people. Do you understand? That sounds That is incredible. Every, sure. Hey, here you go. Good luck. Here's your bus pass. Here's your bag lunch. Now go. Go. This ain't, you're not going to go hang
hang out in the corner and do sure. nothing, sure. and then come back here and eat, eat a great meal and then have a bed to sleep. And no, it's a program. I think we all, I think that's how our country should be. Have those programs, get them back to on their feet, on their own, without relying on anybody else but themselves, much like a fighter, much like an entrepreneur. Right? Sure. Don't don't. What do they say? Don't feed them, but teach them to fish. Teach them to fish. He can yeah, feed himself. Exactly. That's and it. help along the way. You bet. All right, man. Well, let's bet. take a time out, Natronic. We'll talk more football right here on Tomic Man is uncensored. Roger Tillis, ViewMySport.com. I tell people all the time, you make a visit to the loft, you're most likely going to get pulled on the show, and we. We have a good time doing it. And you don't have to bring beer. That's right. <laughs> but it is highly recommended. That's right. Highly recommended. All right. Hey, uh, you hear all the technology going on with you, my sport. Well, all you small and medium business size owners and GMs and, and execs out there. Hey, if you need technology help, you're looking for some IT help, some data and voice networking help, call my friends at Tallwood Technology Group. They're a family-owned business. They do great work. And they're one of the leaders in the industry and in the community. Call them today at 904-757-4201 or visit them online at tallwood.net. More to come right here on the Suck It Up Radio Network at suckitupusa.com.